To raise over a million U.S. dollars for research is not a sneeze. In fact, it took several attempts to get the award, which reflects the high priority of emerging and chronic viral infections in Jamaica and the Caribbean region. Jean Morse, SUNY Distinguished Professor, noted that the issue of funding approval is a process while outlining his expectations. The expectation is that Jamaica will have its vision of a Center for Infectious Diseases Research, uh, a new cancer program, a new program for patients with diabetes and high blood pressure, and at the same time, bringing in business partners who can help economic development and create a, an environment where Jamaica has exactly what it needs and becomes a hub for the Caribbean. John Lindo, co-chair of a UWI SUNY Research Task Force, further explained the need for the research and its importance to the people of the region. So we can expect another wave of either dengue, possibly of chicken gunia. Once we have enough persons in the, in the population that are susceptible to these disease, we may also get waves of new viruses which we haven't discovered yet. And this is why we try to build the capacity so we can be prepared. Uh, we build the capacity in, in, in how we diagnose, we build the capacity in research, to give us some comfort uh, that we can be better prepared if an epidemic comes along. Board Chairman of the State University of New York, H. Carl McCall, noted that the research project will be aimed at young scientists. That this project will identify and train and bring about some young scientists who will work on research projects that can lead to real results in terms of improving health care, both in the United States and here in the Caribbean. The SUNY chairman also reacted to the challenge of getting the over one million U.S. dollars to set up the research in global diseases. We had a very good proposition. I mean, the funding sources, not immediately, but the more we worked on it, the more we made the case, uh, they really found it attractive. And the good thing about funding from the National Institute of Health is if you get support from them, other funding sources know you're pretty good, you see? So we think there will now be additional funding from both private and public sources. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.